Listen, we got another stupid show for you today. Niggas just cannot seem to get it together in Philadelphia. However, Uncle Lord on ice his hand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he ready to slap some. We gonna figure out who getting slapped today on Box Twenty Nine. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Shout out Box 29 News. Box 29 News. And we're back. Da da da. Da da da. And we're back. On Box 29 News. Revealing News Report. We in Box. Right on 29th. This is my beat. Yo. Wait out What's wrong, George? Your boy Chair Mack is in the backpack, and the fat Gaddings and a couple rackets and all. Vaddings! First off, come on, y'all. Like, I'm sorry! Please! Please, y'all. I swear to God, I know it's been a couple of days. I actually was just being a lazy. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe life was doing. I don't have a clue. I'm not going to make no excuse. However, I'm still trying to get a plaque and send the bags and all the acts and shit. Mackington. Just trying to get a plaque and You feel me? You niggas don't feel me. The only person feel me is Audra. However, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. We at. Mr. Backdoor Shooter! <laughs> this is my man! This is my man! Listen, if you don't know who Mr. Backdoor Shooter is, please close the back door. However, I know I told y'all that that was going to be my last time posting Shooter. I was retiring Shooter because I felt like he was on the spectrum. However, I got a DM from, it says Shooter in my DM. I said, hold oh, that. I clicked it. Shooter was going at my neck. I want, I would show a DM, but I'd rather just show you on the video because he ain't even at me. Like, Shooter, you selfish. Like, I be telling them who you is. I be showing them your page and stuff. Why you ain't, why you ain't at me? However, Shooter had a few choice words for me. So I'm going to send over to my steps in the company. Take it away, please. Anything. Hey, bro, you be on my so much, bro. You talking about I ever go to jail? I'm being with the murders. Nigga, I just went to jail. The fuck, where the murders was at? You bitch anymore? You be on my you went to jail, you turn your life around. You fucking internet gangsta ass nigga. Mm-hmm. You see me at first, you won't do that. <laughs> Somebody's my mm hmm. Ha you. Do nothing. If I see you in person, I'm gonna shoot at you. Cause it's just, it's just like that now. Cause you on my dick and you be hopping on two weird. Post about me for what? You not on that. You not that. You know what I'm on for real, for real. Hold on, let me stop you right there. First off, shooter. Now I be having problems with my face here because I pull it off and stuff. Look, like my shit going right now because I got a disorder. It's called trichotillomania. I pull my shit off. However, nigga, you got a piece, a goatee right here, and no. Oh my god! I, I, I couldn't stop looking at that. I'm like, why you ain't just take that part off? Shooter. Then he said, I what is what I say? He said I said something. Let me let me see if shooter gonna say it again. Anthony. If you want any smoke, DM me right now. Get with me, nigga. What you talking about? Don't try to like make a bribe, then like niggas ain't gonna send it to me. You made it two months ago. I'm still acting. I'm still acting. You want some smoke? Come get it. I don't want no smoke, shooter. I want you to get your light. I want you to cut the rest of that off. I want you to brush your teeth, nigga. I want. I want you to get a shirt that don't got a hole right here in the in the tippy top of the collar. Like you can't wear it. Like if it got a hole under the underarm, cool. But right here, though, shooter. I'm trying to figure out what you said. I said you said anything. Nigga on TikTok dissing me. Stop playing. Hey, bro, you be on my so much, bro. You to my vibe. Stop cussing on my show. You know I gotta stop these goddamn cuss words. 
Anthony. I'm going to jail. I'm being with the murders. Nigga, I just went to jail. The f Where the murders was at? You no, no, I didn't. I don't even know what you said again. When you go to jail, you gonna be in up with the with the murders? No, nigga, I said you are trying to crash out, and you probably gonna catch a murder because you is crashing now. That's probably what I said. Cause you still crashing, so you gonna shoot me, nigga? I'm gonna call the police. You feel me? I'm getting shot by no LD, nigga. You crazy? I can't go out like that. However, no, shooter, I do not want no beef. I actually want you to change your life, nigga. You don't have to be no gangster. You're talking about more too rare stuff. Too rare is actually being a good kid to the public. I don't know what he's doing behind closed doors. However, I didn't go to jail and change my life. I went to jail a thousand times, nigga. I kept going back. I'm like, damn, I'm just liking this motherfucker. No, 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 no. I didn't change my life because of that. And my life not even all the way changed yet. I still be having to tell myself, you have stuff to do. You have stuff to lose. You got to chill. You feel me? So it ain't like a nigga, I went in there and they bust me upside my biscuit. Said, Shut up. Stop talking crap. Shut up, nigga. No, it never happened like that. I realized I was a grown ass man. I'm like, oh, I'm playing little kid games. You feel me? So, no, we ain't beefing, Sudi. You my man. I, what you, you talking about uh, making stuff about you? Nobody was going to send it to you. I was hoping they was going to send it to you, nigga. You think I'd be like, please don't send it to the nigga that I'm talking about. Send it to that nigga. You feel me? I don't know. How it, it took you two months, nigga. It took you two months. Think I'm high and talking about your ass, nigga? No, I'm talking about somebody else today. However, Shooter, if you shoot me, if I die from Shooter, God, please don't shoot us. If Shooter do something to me, you're going to prison, Shooter, for murder. I hope I survive it, though. I'm playing, y'all. I don't think Shooter going to shoot me. I think he's just emotionally acting crazy. I'll ever shoot it. Go ahead, brush your teeth, nigga. Get something done. Figure out what you want to be in life, nigga. You don't have to be a driller, stuff, 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 move, push or a 70. Fix her. Torture her. Camper her. Send her. You don't got to be that, my nigga. That's corny. That's not actually going to get you nothing in life. You like nice cars? You like nice houses, like big mansions and stuff? Yeah, you can't do that when you're in prison. I mean, it's, it's billionaires in prison. X Diddy. He can't deal with none of his mansions and his goddamn Ferraris and Corvettes and all his nice stuff. You feel me? So I'm saying, if you want to do some life, try to do some life. If you don't, nigga, go ahead and crash out. I love when you niggas crash out. Y'all just gonna give me more content. You feel me? And if you do crash out, guess what? You get to meet Uncle Lola. Come here, Uncle Lola. How you doing? He didn't crash out yet. However, he acting like he want to. So, we'll see Shooter again. Shit is wrong. In other news, are we at the Banger Boys? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who the Bangout Boys are. They're actually absolutely, positively, 100% a faction of the Kia Boys. These niggas probably don't have a car for about five minutes, though. They get in the car and go zero to 100, nigga, real quick. Crash right into my shit. However, part of this Lexus says, I feel so violated. Owner of stolen getaway car in serious Philadelphia crash seeks justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just hope they died. That's what I would do. Yeah, you stole my car and crash. I pray you did not survive. However, I'm sitting over to my steps to come Stay the way, please. Y'all updated y'all goddamn joint too, because that blew a little lighter. And to you. My husband sent me a video. I'm like, oh my God, that is my car. New details tonight on a violent hit and run crash in Port Richmond. Philadelphia police say the black pickup truck that caused so much damage and destruction mm. was demolished. The other driver nearly killed. And this woman was the owner of the getaway vehicle that the juvenile suspect. That's the young boy. No, my God. I, I, why, yo, bro, life is crazy. Every time 
is something like this. Drunk, not drunk, intoxicated, not intoxicated, whatever. Yo, the nigga that crashed the car always managed to get up out and run up off. You feel me? Them niggas like, I'm out of here. Like the adrenaline be sky high. And the other person for sure gotta get critically injured. I hope you do make it through. Hope you don't have no uh long-term damage. However, I can't wait till we catch your ass. And we probably did catch his ass. I ain't even finished the story yet. And to you. Sex used to escape the catastrophic crash scene. He won't know nonchalant remain mind. at large. It's Monday night, and the big story in Action News is the continuing investigation into that terrifying hit and run that's left man in critical condition. A neighborhood trying to pick up the pieces. And, and four juveniles still on the run. Action reporter Brianna Gallagher spoke exclusively with the owner of the getaway vehicle. And Brianna is live at police headquarters with those details tonight. Brianna. Hold on, Bree Bree. Um, four? Y'all didn't catch one person? Like, come on, some days y'all be y'all be impressing me. Some days y'all just be like, goddamn, disappointing than a month. Anything. Yes, Rick, that's right. We spoke exclusively with the owner of that getaway car, a white Hyundai Santa Fe. She says that her car was stolen from her driveway in Bristol at 2.30 in the morning. It would be hours later that she would find out that it was used in that horrific hit and run crash in Philadelphia. And I just looked at my window and was gone, my car. I'm like, what the heck? Joan Pazeka woke up Sunday morning to find out that her car was just gone. After checking her ring camera, she knew it was stolen and called the police. All we see is the car just leave the driveway. Insane. Just come right up into your yard and take it right out of your front yard. It's nuts. What she didn't know was that hours after it was stolen, it would play a role in this horrific crash in Port Richmond. Oh my God, that is my car. Terrifying video shows a black Dodge Ram driving eastbound on Venango Street at an extremely high rate of speed, while a white Chevrolet truck was driving northbound on Richmond Street. What the f do they got to do with her Honda Santa Fe? Or however you say the damn car name. What are we talking to her for? They all be burning me out, sister step sister company. Anthony. The Dodge Ram runs a red light and then T-bones the Chevrolet. Seconds later, a white car pulls up. That's Dawn's car. Oh. I heard the honk because it was honking. I'm like, I know that honk. And then they screamed, the one guy screamed out my license plate. I'm like, that's my license plate number. Video shows teenage. Let's go, white boy! <laughs> like that now that i'm grown i went to jail changed my life son of the shooter nigga he is a gang member that nigga still in the street next to the niggas that's doing wrong and screamed the fucking license plate zx94406 and i wish you would hit me nigga i wish you would however anthony is running out of the black pickup, jumping into the white Hyundai and driving off, but not before a neighbor gets the getaway car's license plate number. Seeing that accident on the news last night made it even worse for me. Like you can get your car stolen, it's just gone. When you see stuff like this happening, it it makes it all so much different. Dawn says she she a gang member too, cause she on TV. Face out, yeah. Put me on this joint. It's my little fifteen seconds of fame. He just bought the car this year. My attack hat did not help. <laughs> Today she had to go out and purchase new supplies for her cleaning business because everything was in her car. That nigga got in the trunk. <laughs> that nigga got in the trunk. Like he was on the movie AT. Get your ass in the trunk. Nigga got his ass in the trunk. But her car not damaged though. Go get this lady car back. You don't want your car back? I wouldn't want it back either. Andy. Just in my car. God knows what they're doing. All your personal information, like your life is in your vehicle. I just feel so violated. It's it's messed up. It's a lot. I just hope that they find the people that did this. Bring them to justice. Where is the trackers in these cars at? Like it's only 2024 and a half, three quarters. They got air tags now. I know them cars should have a goddamn 
hey, I'm right here. I went there. Because the air tag show you every place you stop. Yep, you was here. You went up there. Came over there. You were, yeah. Why don't I do that to the car? And don't let it alert nobody but the owner of the car. Wouldn't that be smart? I'm not the smartest nigga in the world. I've never been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton. None of them is I'm just saying. You shouldn't have to pay for that. That should come standard. So you don't have to keep replacing cars, stupidy. Some ass goddamn dealership. They probably want your car to get stolen so they can get some money some type of way. However, you got some more to say, uh, Bree Bree? Anthony. Now, police are still looking for those uh, that group of teenagers that fled the scene in that white Hyundai. It was last seen going over the bridge into New Jersey, but the vehicle that they were in beforehand, the black pickup truck, officials say that was also reported stolen. The driver of the other vehicle is still in critical condition tonight. Police are asking anyone with any information to please come forward. We're live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Ronnie Gallagher, Channel 6, Action News. Thank you. Um... I do hope we find these young men. I want to, I can't even send no, I don't, I want to send my best wishes to the man who got here. I hope you do come through. Hope you make it through. We're not, we're without any long-term injuries. However, when we catch them for juvies, oh my God, I, 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 you already know. We gripping all deep. <laughs> Send you down. Introduce Uncle Lola. Come here, Uncle Lola. How you doing? Yeah, these niggas crashed out. Literally. Please. Shut the f <laughs> Where are they stupid ass? Can boot the ass a piece of spit through capo forest rock you? I'll be on chest of mine or fractal green. Someone said, Pine Grove. What are the wreck rakes no sin on the gods? Let us know. Which one of y'all niggas got in the trunk? Just stupid ass. What's wrong? In other news, oh, we at the Chester County winner. <laughs> if you don't know who the Chester County weirdos are, they're actually, absolutely, possibly 100% some niggas who think Chester County playing with their ass. They ain't. Far by the flex says two charged in shooting at Wawa. In Chester County, after fighting over marijuana, some niggas was fighting over some marijuana. However, sound like two niggas is about to go to Phoenixville, Smithville. I'm gonna send over to my sister company. Say away, please. Anthony. Two young men are being held on a million dollars bail after a shooting. Oh my God! I, I, just the county do not play with us niggas. I'm just trying to get y'all to understand. They will whiz out, is out, is out, up your izu, izu, ass. A million dollars. Listen, right? Let me move the screen. They got their names and stuff already. You know, that was Philadelphia, but it was juvenile charge and this and that. They try to withhold information. No, no, I ain't with over nothing in this motherfucker. However, ending at a Chester County Wawa that investigators say started with a fight over a trash bag containing marijuana. The district attorney says 21 year old Frank Johnson of Coatesville and 18 year old Zahir Scott of Wilmington shot at each other in the parking lot of a West Goshen Township Wawa Saturday afternoon. Scott was shot in the foot. Now both men are being charged with attempted homicide. Stupidy, that's what y'all get. However, what you laid down and shot that nigga? How you shoot the nigga in his foot? And it's not the first time I heard of a nigga getting shot in his foot. I be trying to figure out how do niggas be getting shot in their foot? Did the bullet bounce off something and hit you in the foot? However, whatever happened, it's okay. We gripping both of you niggas up, sitting you right in front of district attorney of Chester County. How you doing? It's so nice to see you again. This nigga not even from Pennsylvania. Please do the honors. Slut! do oh. That's fucking easy work, right? Say that they stupid ass. Can boot that ass. If these were a stiff little kid before us, rob you, I'll be on Chester, Martin, or Fractal Green. Somebody said, Pine Grove. What are them wreck race? No sin on the Let us know. 
Who got the weed now? Y'all stupid asses. In other news, oh, we at the Kia <laughs> Them niggas came to the show today. I have a problem on this link. says juvenile carjacking suspects arrested at the police chopper chase through Philly neighborhoods. Well, you can run, nigga, but you cannot hide. Not from that goddamn chopper, that goddamn Sky Force. I don't even think it was Sky Force, but I, be, I used to watch Sky Force when I was in jail. And that motherfucker was goddamn crystal clear from a 75,000 feet in the air. However, I'm sitting over to my sister company. Say it away, please. Anything you. This was a wild night. An armed carjacking leads to a lengthy police pursuit. Police say it might be tied to other carjackings in the yard. Probably so. Ellen's on this one. Ellen DeGeneres. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, no. some scary moments last night. Two teenagers in custody. One still out there. And police say they may have done this before. Let's get right to the video. So this all happened last night about 1130 on the 2800 block of Longshore Ave in the lower northeast section of the city. Police say three teenagers forced a man in his 30s out of his car at gunpoint. Then they led cops on a chase for more than an hour. The police chopper followed the black Nissan maxima through north philadelphia and offers officers eventually stopped the guys in east oak lane at 11th and chu and arrested a 15 and 16 year old but a third teenager took off investigators say the victim drove with them to identify the suspect and his car and that the man the main goal they say was to try to keep the streets of philly safe during that long car chase it was shout out to the man who came and identified his car and the goddamn suspects. That was them. Yep. Right there. Yep, that's them. Take them away, officers. Anything. Tremendous uh, job. Uh, our officers showed tremendous restraint in staying back while the police chopper followed that vehicle until it was safe to stop it and two individuals are in custody at this time for a carjacking uh, point of gun police also say these same teens may be responsible for other carjackings last night and at other times in the city so they're really trying to piece this all together so if you have any information uh please contact them because they do say a third teenager possibly armed is still out there so even if you think it's just a small piece of info please contact philadelphia police what you mean possibly armed nigga did y'all find the gun or not that's all i'm saying did y'all find the gun or not Cause if y'all didn't find the gun, he got the gun. However, we do have two children in custody. Shout out to that. We get to see how gangster they truly are. Yeah, y'all niggas gonna go see the white people. See if y'all tell them the last person who probably got the pistol. We gonna figure that out. Since y'all niggas had nothing better to do, no dreams, no goals, no aspirations, no responsibilities. You feel me? Y'all put in so much time, effort, and energy to throw your life away, do the dumb stuff. So now you got to get the consequences of repercussions for the dumb stuff. And since we got you, how you doing, Galona? We got two. You looking for one more. But please, SWAT THE Oh, hey! Right out of here, stupid ass. You boot the ass of Finnsville, Smithville, Campo, Forest, Rock, you, Aubrey, Chester, Monterey, Frank, Mo Green, Somerset, Pine Grove. What a recreational city, nigga. These gods. Let us know. Did y'all tell him the last nigga? Because where's the last nigga at? Y'all stupid ass. That's wrong. In other news, are we at the Philadelphia Portal? <laughs> if you don't know what the Philadelphia Portal is, it's because I absolutely possibly 100% don't know what it is either. Is it a portal to prison? That's what we need. We need a portal to prison. Where these gentlemen just run through. They right in they cell. You feel me? Paul Mother's Lake says Love Park Portal connects Philadelphia to several international cities. To do what? To say hi? I don't want to say hi to the motherfuckers. Hey, we in Philadelphia dying and shit. They want to see that for. 
However, I'm going to send it over to my new and improved steps to come in. Take it away, please. Continue. All right. Well, we will finally learn today which foreign city Philadelphia will contest with at the Love Portal. Well, let's go. It is a foreign city. I, it did just say international. Like, we can't even speak to them. Sapase, creme brulee. I don't even know if that's the right thing to say. However, Andy. Over to Katie Castro. Good morning. Good morning. You know, this is what's making everyone stop and stare when they walk by Love Park here. You can see it behind me. It's bright and it's shiny. And soon you should be able to peer through and say hello to someone in a different country. I just said it's about say hello. For what? Y'all know the Kia boys? Y'all invested all this money to say hi to a motherfucker? A FaceTime a motherfucker? The Kia boy's going to steal this motherfucker. You feel me? Probably going to crash into it with a car or something. Why, this is not going to turn out good in Philadelphia. Anything. The city is celebrating the relocation of the NYC portal today. It's here at Love Park, and it will be activated during a press conference later this morning. The portals are technology art sculptures in public spaces that connect to other sculptures internationally, providing a real-time, unfiltered live stream 24-7. The project was created by a little... I ain't gonna lie, that is nice. I like stuff like that. <laughs> But it's in Philadelphia. You can't have something like this in Philadelphia. Like, Anthony. Me an artist back in 2021 to meet people beyond borders and unite the world. Current locations include cities in Lithuania, Poland, Ireland, and Brazil. This one in Love Park moved from New York City, where it was both beloved and the source of some bad behavior on both sides of the Atlantic. While we're hoping our new... I was, yo, I swear to gosh, that's why I got to start cutting it when I feel like cutting it. I was about to say, niggas is going to be doing crime through this shit. They're going to figure out how to do crime through the portal. That's it. What y'all doing over there? Y'all need some, y'all need a uh, PUA? Yeah, I'm going to sign you up for PUA. Give me your soul. They ain't going to be doing crime. Niggas not going to break this. It, this is a crime portal. So this needs to be a portal to prison. Anthony. Portal doesn't end up going to the city of brotherly love with a bad reputation when it goes live. People we spoke with said the whole idea is fascinating and maybe even a little bit eerie. I'm from Minnesota, so it kind of looks like a... Uh, hockey puck with a hole in it. But and why the f would y'all interview a nigga from Minnesota? All them Philadelphia niggas, my he from Minnesota. Talk to some niggas from Philadelphia. Not no white folks from Minnesota. I don't know. This man don't even have a Philadelphia hat on. He might not even be from goddamn Philadelphia either. Anthony. It's like the scary movie The Ring, like the girl's gonna climb out of it or something like that. Oh, shut up. That's a portal. Ain't nobody climbing. A nigga might climb out there, Joe. Yo, they might be trying to teleport, niggas. Oh, my God. I, I, I. Don't get too close. Radiation might burn your face the fuck up. However, it is a nice piece of artwork. I, I hope y'all don't think, like, this is what y'all can't do. Y'all can't be Indian givers with Philadelphia people because they will riot over this thing. If they like this thing, they're going to take it from New York and put it in Philadelphia and then take it to Philadelphia and take it to Washington, D.C. Somebody in Philadelphia is coming to get that from Washington, D.C. I'm letting you know. However, when it do come out, I am going to go see who I'm looking at. We are at Russia. Send me some shit. Send me some shit. <laughs> say no, say no. I probably am. But it is a nice portal. So thank you to the Philadelphia, whoever sent this to us. Thank you all for trying to beautify the city. In other news, but we have BMZ. Da -da -da. And today in BMZ, we have Mama Donkey Day. <laughs> if you don't know who Miss Mama Duckington is, she is actually, actually, possibly 100% the mother of fallen rapper FBG Duck from Chicago. All the young niggas in Philadelphia know who this is because they follow all the Chicago trends. However, 
her son was killed allegedly by a murder for hire by King Von. And then she got some to say. So, four minutes later, says FBG Ducks mom reacts to Lil Dirk paying homage to members of both sides at his birthday event. Mama Duck responded and said, it didn't matter to nobody but us when Duck did it. Mm. And Duck did pay homage to niggas on both sides and a rap wasn't just on a TV screen. or I don't even know what happened that everybody up in the up, like, yay, they trying to stop the violence. Like, you know how niggas be saying, you too deep in? They too deep in. You can't pay for somebody's son to get killed. They be like, we got to stop the violence. Bitch, f you. That's how uh, KJ Bond probably feel. When she went on her diss, I'm like, what can you say? It killed her son, and they dissed him. So when now when they want to act nice, little jerk, I want to act nice, Mama Ducks will be like, oh, hey, thank you for respecting my son. Y'all killed him. Get Lincoln pooped. However, the next slide says, but I'm supposed to care now. And my MF and son did. That's what I'm saying. She's supposed to care? No, you're not. And I understand exactly. I wouldn't care. I'm like, goddamn, little dirt. Go to hell. You feel me? And I don't know if her son was a goddamn angel. He probably absolutely possibly 100% was not. I don't know if he killed nobody. He probably did. He probably did. Who knows? Only he knows. But I do understand what you're saying. I wouldn't care either. Like, God damn it. You in that picture. Or whatever happened. However, the next slide says, I'm going to need y'all to hashtag Duck did it first and repost this pic if you think that it's not cat. Miss, we don't have to think it's not cat. It's time dated. It's time stamp. We already understand. Duck did do it first. Rest in peace to FBG Duck. Rest in peace to King Bomb. Rest in peace to all y'all. Y'all need to probably go, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all probably need to go. I don't know. Niggas wasn't promoting positivity. Especially King Mine ass. So, I do understand what you're saying, Mama Duck. I don't give a f if Lil Dirk acting. You gotta just go ahead and stop talking. You're making yourself look bad, sir. You feel me? But that kids, please make sure, make sure you're probably... A stupid dumb retarded motherfucker, drill us on some move, push up, probably not gonna make any life, probably got no dreams, no goals, no aspirations, probably gonna be embarrassing your parents, probably gonna be goddamn throwing your life away. Cause this is like showing these niggas is not showing niggas who actually the worst show in the world, box for our news, revealing news report. We can box. Right on 29th Street my beat the fuck. Right out of here. Fuck is wrong with you. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me.